My name is Tariq Manif and I am setting up a non-profit organisation to create a new type of banking and commerce infrastructure to help with the development of society. To help SMEs but businesses in general to become more entrepreneurial and help liberate the human spirit in the workplace. Munich today, so I'm just going for the evening. So I'll arrive around 6.30 and then um, the meeting will probably be about 7, have dinner, get to sleep, leave early in the morning tomorrow, come back to London and then maybe Holland in a couple of weeks to actually see the plant. Originally we were going to try and negotiate um, exclusivity um, for the agencies for Asia and the Middle East. Today we're going to find out a bit more about the company in terms of the technology, a bit more about where they want to take the company over the next two years, if it works. I'll set up this brokerage and this agency and, and do all this green technology business on one side and then um, I'll do my banking venture on the other side. Mike's been great that he's literally taking me through step by step, um, which, has been, which has been phenomenal. I mean, there, there are lots of things I, was, I would have done wrong, basically. Um, um, so that's been very helpful. That, but even the day-to-day -day stuff, Mike has been stayed in touch with us by email contact. Um, He's, he's constantly feeding us information. The excitement's there, definitely. Um, it's, it's almost like the get your head down and do it, you know. You've got to walk, walk your talk kind of stage. I feel it's a very liberating feeling, actually. It's a very liberating feeling to, to follow something which is really important to you from the inside. Okay, so, so in the first day, Mike was talking to us about strategy. What components are in strategy that you, that an iconic company has basically created like a strategy pitch, a short strategy pitch, maximum 15 minutes. And then he said um, the next day we had to pitch it to each other. Mike gave his feedback first, he had a bit more time to give it obviously, and then everyone had one minute to give their feedback each. Um, and that was a really interesting experience, it really was. It was a real eye-opener for all of us really. And it actually really helped me with my strategy then. Um, and even besides that, people gave me really helpful feedback, both in terms of I have to communicate my thoughts much better um, and be aware of misinterpretation. I've got a meeting this afternoon with actually the, um, the brand logos because brand is going to be very important. I had to come up with trademark names as well. <laughs> More meetings, as you'd well expect. Um, we're trying to do this environmental kind of deal and, and sort things out. And I mean, one thing I really learned about startups, being an entrepreneur, is you cannot predict anything. But the meeting went well. Um, it was to do with trying to effectively change the uh, an aspect of the environmental industry. I'm not pitching myself. I'm kind of pitching the idea. And I haven't even done a, a perfect pitch yet. I, I mean, I'll be doing that in the Middle East in a couple of weeks. Um, so, so I've been scheduling a trip to the Middle East to meet some big financiers and wealthy, wealthy and successful people um, to try and get them engaged with the idea. I've been working on the funding of the venture and I've been working on the venture itself. The funding of the venture is going well. That's what the meeting was, the environmental meeting and stuff like that. So if we can do the deal there, we'll get some commission there. And the venture itself, I've been speaking with people to develop the idea and networking with regards to that. So, yeah, it's, it's going well. It's exciting. It's tiring. As long as you don't give up, you get breaks. But it's now reached a point where I need a big chunk of funding to then get a whole team together to work solidly at it for, let's say, three or four months to build the architecture. And then there'll be another huge chunk of funding required to then implement all that platform and, and business architecture, all that theoretical work. That's a major difference because a, a non-profit is obviously designed not to make a profit. So it's how do you get, on one hand I need to get big chunks of money at these two big stages. On the other hand, I can't get conventional investment because it's not going to provide a return. What I'm intending and what we're intending is that um, the first two banks which will be members of this non-profit will be ones that we influence and we help develop. Um, and they will basically be exemplars then of what the bank, what this banking, bank in a box can be used to create. 
in some ways, I've designed as much as I can right now on paper. Now I'm focusing on the funding side and then, um, then it's going to be full game on. So I'm hoping over the next month or two things, things will um, close on the deal front, progress on the deal front and then, um, then things will be accelerating pretty fast after that hopefully. Mike was very reassuring, he said that look, the way I'm doing it is the right way of doing it and sometimes you do have to be patient and he did point out that once, once this next stage is over, things will likely move so quickly I'll be wishing I made the most of my, my quiet patch. <laughs>